All right, so we're doing exercise 5b, and in this video, I will be answering question 8e, which reads, sketch the graphs of each of the following relations, stating the maximal domain and the range of each. So here we have y equals 2 over 2x minus 5 squared. Hopefully, you immediately recognize that this is going to be a truncus, a truncus. So we should be able to recognize the general shape of the graph by just looking at it. I've then broken this down into four steps. We're first going to find the asymptotes, then the x-intercept, then the y-intercepts, and then we'll give it a sketch. So let's begin by finding my asymptotes. So what we know about the asymptotes is that it's going to be undefined at that section. And this will be undefined if my denominator is zero. So in other words, we can't have a situation in which 2x minus 5 squared equals zero. If this were to occur, my graph would be undefined, so we don't want it to happen. Now, when will this occur? Well, what will my x value be in order for this to be zero? We need to find that in order to find my asymptote. So let's now figure that out. I'm going to first square root both sides. So I'm going to end up with 2x minus 5 equals zero. Then I'm going to plus 5 to both sides. And then finally divide both sides by 2. So I'm going to end up with 5 over 2. So that is going to be one asymptote. Next, I need to figure out what my other one will be. And what my other one is going to be is simply y equals 0. And that's because we know that we find the other one by looking at what is plus or minus to the end. And as you can see here, I don't have anything plus to the end. So that means it's simply going to be y equals 0. So I'm going to grab my pen. And put in y equals 0. y equals 0. And that will be my other one. Let's now find what my x asymptote, sorry, my x intercept will be. My x intercept. So we find the intercept by setting y equal to 0. So I'm going to get 0 equals 2 over 2x minus 5 squared. I'm going to times both sides by 2x minus 5 squared. So 2x minus 5 squared times 0 is just 0 equals 2. Well, that didn't work, did it? Because 2 does not equal 0. So therefore, I'm not going to have any x intercepts. So no x int. And I'm going to highlight that. Let me now find what my y intercept will be. My y intercept will be when x equals 0. So I'm going to write y equals 2 over 2, 0 minus 5 squared and then do some working out here. So that's going to be y equals 2 over minus 5 squared, which will be y equals 2 over 25. So that will be my y-intercept. So now I will zoom out and put all this information onto my graph. So the first bit of information I'll put in will be my x and y asymptote. So my x asymptote is going to be 5 on 2, 1, 2 is going to be here. I will draw that in. And then I'm going to make sure I tell you what it is. So that is x equals 5 on 2. My other one is going to be at y equals 0. So that will be y equals zero. Next, I need to mark in my y asymptote, which is two over 25. So that is going to be here. And again, uh, I'll mark that in, I'll put it up here, zero, two over 25. And now that I've done all that, I can give this a sketch. So it's going to look something like this, so it's approaching my asymptotes. Perfect. 
Now, the very last bit of my question is to state my domain and range. My domain is going to be the set of all the possible x values. And remember, it's the implicit or maximal domain, meaning, which, meaning that they haven't explicitly told me, but it's going to be where all my x makes sense. Where does it have meaning for it? And as you can obviously see, it's going to have meaning everywhere, except at x equals five over two, because this is where it's undefined. So it's going to be all real numbers, excluding five over two. So all real numbers excluding five over two. Next, we need to figure out what my range will be. My range is all my y values. And as you can see, my lowest y value is going to be, well, it's approaching y equals zero, but it's never actually going to get there. So we're going to say it's zero, but I'm going to have an open circle, sorry, a round bracket, which says it's not including it because it's never going to reach zero. And then it's going to go all the way up, 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 up into infinity. Uh, there we go. So it would be zero to infinity, but it's important that we put a round bracket around that zero because it's never going to reach it. So there you go. My domain is going to be all real numbers, excluding five over two. My range will be zero to infinity. We'll draw now graph. Hopefully this is helpful to you in figuring out question 8E of exercise 5B.